there, I'm Shahi and welcome to Shahi's Easy English. Thank you for joining me again today. Today's video is about shopping. Phrases and vocabulary that you can use on an everyday basis. So the first one is shopping list. Shopping list is a list of items that you will write for yourself before you go shopping. So you don't forget what you need to buy. I'm going to the shops. I'm going shopping. Okay. Or you can say I'm going to the supermarket. So for instance, you can say I'm going to go Tesco tomorrow. That's the supermarket. Do you want anything? Okay. So I'm going to go tomorrow. Do you want anything? So let me know. Yeah. You might have already been to Tesco that week and your friend or your family member might say to you, when you go Tesco this week, can you get me some apples? Or whatever it is you want, okay? The reply might be, yes, of course. Yeah, okay, I can do that. Uh, okay, just put it on my list. Or, oh, sorry, I've already been. I'll get them for you next time. Okay, so we have a trolley and a basket. Uh, the shopping trolley is the one that you push, that has the wheels on it. Shopping trolley. And the basket is the one you pick up with your, and you put your things inside it. The aisles are the corridors, okay, where all the things are stacked in the shelves. So the first aisle that you see might have a washing powder and the second one might be biscuits, the other one might be cereals and so on and so forth. So each area of aisles, so the, uh, there might be like three aisles or four aisles, they have a name. They might say dairy products, bakery, butchers, Okay, so they will have it at the top so you can find it. It depends how big the supermarket is and what they have in the supermarket. When you can't find what you want in the supermarket, what are you going to say? You're going to walk up to the shop assistant who might be stacking shelves. They might be busy doing something and you can say to them, Hi there, excuse me. Can you tell me where the biscuits are? Or you can say, can you tell me where I can find? Where I can find? Can you tell me where I can find the cereals? They might say to you, yeah, it's in the next aisle, okay? Or they might say, sometimes they say, okay, oh, follow me, I'll show you. Follow me, I'll show you, okay? And then they show you, then they say, here you go. And we say, thank you. So, um, in the larger supermarkets, like Tesco, Sainsbury's, Aldi, everything is weighed most of the time and you just take a pack of beans, potatoes, whatever it is and you just put it in your basket or your trolley. So you don't have to weigh yourself. At the smaller supermarket, they will wait for you so it's not an issue and then they will total it up. Okay, we also have something called like four for a pound or five for a pound. So maybe you have you know, five lemons you can buy for one pound. Or it might be a bowl, one bowl for one pound, okay. So we have this, I'm not sure if you have that in your country, but we have this option where you can ask how many for a pound. In the supermarket, sometimes we have like offers, sometimes they're half price and sometimes you can get two packs of something for a low price. Uh, so there are some offers. This is what it's called, offers. Are there any good offers at that supermarket? And you can say, yeah, usually they are. Or you can say, no, actually they're not. Everything is really expensive there. And I don't go there anymore. Maybe you do. So after you've got everything you want to buy in your basket or your trolley, you have to go and queue up. Which means you have to line up. Okay, and now you have to keep uh, a meter distance, yeah? <laughs> or, you know, you have to keep a distance from the person in front of you because of the COVID. So uh, it's different when you queue up. You have to join a queue. You have to see, you have to look for the cashier. Where is the cashier? Ah, oh, there. And oh my God, that queue is so long. I'm going to join the other one because it's short. Sometimes the queue is long. Sometimes the queue is short, sometimes the queue is quick, sometimes the queue is slow. <laughs> so what happens when it's your turn? The person in front of you will have their things on what we call the 
conveyor belt. Conveyor belt, okay? And it moves all the things down to the cashier. Okay, and then they put this thing, it says next customer, please. And it's magnetic and they put it there so it's a barrier between their shopping and your shopping. So you pick up the things and put them on the conveyor belt. And the conveyor belt is moving. Okay, it keeps moving until it's your turn, okay. And then they, they scan your items. After they scan everything, they'll tell you how much it is. You might pay by cash, or you might pay by card. If you pay by cash, they'll give you your change if you if needs be. And if you pay by uh, card, you just have to put your card in and when it says ready, then you put your number in or maybe you use contactless. Which means you just beep, scan it and it takes your money. The receipt, receipt. Don't say receipt. Receipt. Okay. When they get the receipt, they give you the receipt. They will also ask you if you need a bag before you pay for everything because the bags cost money now. Okay. So they'll say, do you need a bag? So you can say, yes, can I have a bag? Or can I have two bags? Or you can say, no, thank you. I already have one. Okay, so that will be the end of your shopping. First, you will put all your things in your bags. If you have lots of shopping, you will take your bags and put them in the trolley, take them to your car, put them in the boot, and take your shopping home and put your shopping away. Okay. Sometimes people might go to the shops and leave the shopping in the kitchen and you say, why didn't you put the shopping away? Why do I have to put the shopping away? Okay, <laughs> Maybe you have this kind of a conversation. So anyway, that's the end of the shopping video. And um, make sure you watch the pronunciation videos because they are really good for your pronunciation, for your speaking. And if you are on Holotalk, then uh, if you see me shy English, then uh, say hello to me. I'm in uh, in few of the groups, so if you see me there, then say hello. Uh, also, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Okay, so like, share, and subscribe if you didn't already. I'll be waiting to see your um, notification that you subscribed. <laughs> uh, thank you so much for all your lovely support. Uh, I really appreciate it. And see you soon. Take care and enjoy your shopping. Let me know if you use the phrases and bye for now.